Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and this map. And they want to turn this map into a graphic like that. I've already done this. It came out pretty well. I've done it two different ways just to kind of show him how to do it. Now, when he originally sent me the map, it was big. It was like 18. I've turned it into something little because I still think Corel does a better job. And I'm going to change my nudge factor to three. I am going to move. I'm going to move my map too. I got stuff hidden all over the page. I'm going to elongate my blue or my yellow map. I am going to trace this map. Nothing special, just trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. It's going to take just a second. It's already done. I'm going to nudge it over, and you see the white. You could remove all the white, but we're just going to take the black. I'm just going to drag the black out of the way. Well, I grab white. Let me grab some black. Look at that. All the white. Now, I don't know what this is. It's hanging off the picture. This is evidently a river. But we're just going to delete all this white. And now we have a graphic of the street. With the exception that the original picture looks like it had a, a fold in the map. You know, I don't know where this came from. A data map, but this looked like a fold in the map. Well, it shows up in the graphic, and it looks terrible. And it's if you were going to fix this, it would take you half an hour to get all this done. But what we can do is we can left click, right click, and get an outline. Now this is less than two inches tall. We're going to make it two inch nudge. And we are going to, or duplicate, I'm going to hit the plus key and move it down two inches. Now I'm going to take a two point line. And you can see the map's kind of a little skewed. Doesn't really matter. But I don't want, I don't want my line, I want my line perpendicular. I'm going to redraw that line just in case. If you start drawing and then hold down the control button, it'll be perpendicular. Then bring that line in, and I want everything on just to the right of that line. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of that line, and I want everything on the left side of that bad line. Now, I want to delete everything on this side of the line. And then you're going to have to zoom in. This might not look like much sense yet, but in just a second, you'll see. And then I'm going to delete... Now, normally I do this, but I don't have to do what I'm fixing to do because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using the same line. I'm using uh, a line that's off, and it's a lot easier to find if you bring in your line to there. Now let's get rid of our lines, and let's nudge this down. Now you see some incomplete. That's where I cut out, but it's not that hard to fix. Some of these are dead-end streets, so we're going to take the shape tool, and we're going to grab the streets that aren't dead-end. Let's zoom in here. Grab the shape tool, and we're going to try to get these as close as we can to perpendicular to the other ones. I've got an idea how we can close this off, but you never, you can't. If you close something like that off, from that far, you're going to close a lot off automatically. Now we're going to take it. That's all the through, through streets. We're going to open up a docker. Windows, dockers, join curves. My dog's asleep on the couch next to me. Now we're going to grab all these nodes. And we're going to join the curves. All those nodes got joined. Now they look like they didn't work very well. I didn't do a very good job of getting them close. But you see what I did. And now we can actually bring these up. And we're going to smart fill this anyway. So it doesn't... That'll be closer than that, I guess. Um, 
you know what, I'm going to back up here, back up before I join them, and I'm going to try to get them a little closer to that. Yeah, I, I didn't zoom in on these, and I should have. It might be easier to do one at a time. And I'm not too worried about, um, you know, if there's any little bumps in the road, because <laughs> I can fix that after, or we can fix that afterwards. Just a few more. Wow, I didn't get close. See, I didn't zoom in like I'm not zooming now. Now, you've got the blue selected. You need to hold down the shift key and grab the red. And then go right through here and grab those nodes and hit apply. And voila, it worked. Now, we might have a little bump in the road, but we can delete nodes now. And it'll get us a, a smooth... Well, especially if he's going to cut it. Now, I went too far. Now we have some uh, dead end streets that we need to close up right here. They're even easier because they're going to close to the nearest node that's that far apart. Look at that. Now I'm going to delete these nodes. That one might, I might have messed up. Now, see, I've got a bump in the road. Just delete the nodes and straighten out the bumps. Now, I am going to take the rectangle tool and put a rectangle around it just in case I leak, and I'm going to fill it in, and voila, we have a map. I'm going to move this map out of the way because that's our smart fill, and that's what I want to use. I don't like deleting anything, so I'm going to just nudge it up. Now I can left click, right click. And here's kind of the, the key. With that selected, hold down your shift key and double select on your rectangle tool. That put a box around your map at its most extreme top and left and right. We need to take that box and come in. We're gonna to go to effects and contour. And we're gonna to contour to the inside 0.15. Ooh, too much. Um, 0 0.015. There we go. Now, I need to break the contour apart. And I want the outer one nudged out of the way. And the weld key, the weld tool will not work in this situation. So you need to try back minus front. And what that did, that opened up these cavities. Because then when we take our box and nudge it back and we zoom in and smart fill it, now we have a cutout. Just, I think, what he wanted. Now move that out of the way and use that as your cutout because it's all filled in. Now, the original map he showed me a picture of uh, almost all the street. Well, like there's a break. Whoever did it probably accidentally broke it or it didn't uh, I think that's broken so we don't want that to happen you know if he was gonna you know lightly you know like use some spray adhesive and, and glue this down to a board and put in a frame you don't need to but just in case he needs to uh, have some stability here grab all the nodes that you think you need and then just go straight up just barely go there. Because we still want to be able to see the street. And then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. You know, if you wanted to do it on this street. Just barely. You know, and you could do all these, this whole area. Just bring it. Now, it's changing the map just a hair. You could, you could definitely move these. You know, don't have to take those nodes. Uh, but just bring them up. Just barely touch it. Take the virtual segment of leak heat. Now this, you know, you've got pretty good stabilization on the other corner. Then after you've done some of that, take the, the smart fill tool and fill that in and then use this copy for your cutting ability because it'll be pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helps. And thank you. And then one more thing. After you've got that, hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then you can make it whatever size you wanted the, the item to be. 
just don't forget to do that. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.